Okay, I wanted to give a quick demonstration on what the extending emitter spring uh, looks like and how it functions. As you can see, it's been installed temporarily and it hooks into the back of the P1 release. So as I mentioned before, the release has two springs hooked into the rear of it. So that's why you have to epoxy that in really good. You have the hammer spring, which pulls back on the release, and then you have the extending emitter spring, which pulls forward on the release, okay? So right now, I'm holding on to the U-yoke because I haven't soldered that into place yet. So anyway, I just wanted to, you know, nudge it forward to give you an idea how it works. So when the P1 is inserted into its cradle, it will make contact with the U-yoke right here where I'm holding my finger, and then it will push it forward like that. And, of course, the emitter will come out. I'm sorry. I have, I'm holding it together here. Okay, so you'll see the emitter come out. And then it retracts when the phaser is taken out. So, there you go. In. And the old out. Okay. Alright, so I just have to solder this U-yoke into place. And then that will be, that will be it. We'll be on our way. Okay, so that's it. I think that's good. And it's important that you leave tension on that spring so that when the P1 is inserted into its cradle, it pushes back against the P1 hammer, P1 release hammer. And that's what holds it in place. Okay? I know it's not that, I can't see that great, but I'll side it. You know what, I'm probably going to take another video after I solder this into place. I shouldn't have even done this. I'm just uh, excited, that's all. So, anyway, uh, all right, where's my P1? Where's my P1? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, here's the top. All right, where's the bottom piece? Oh, here it is, okay. So, you could see I made a notch there. I reinforced it with epoxy, which was a good idea. All right, so that's not going to stay like that. It's a little oversized. I wanted to see exactly where the P1 is going to line up relative to the hammer. So then whatever little extra space I have left over is going to be filled with uh, Bondo or epoxy putty. So then the space will be just large enough to accommodate the hammer. Like I got be. Okay? So, you know, it won't look that big after it's finished. It's going to be filled in a little bit and neatened. Okay, so that's the story. Forging ahead.